I'm going to show you how to replace the collimator light bulb on the source ray 130. To do that, we have to remove the knobs and the collimator housing. The knobs have access holes right here, and you need a 332nd Allen wrench. You need to shine a bright light down through the hole to locate the uh, screw on the inside. And then insert the Allen wrench and point it towards back at the button a little, angle it just a little, get it in the hole, loosen the Allen wrench, and then you can remove the knob. You need to remove both knobs. When you reinstall the knobs, you don't want to tighten them too much because the knobs are very brittle and you can break the knobs. Once you've removed that, you loosen the four screws on the skin guard. And the skin guard is the only thing holding the collimator housing in place. Collimator housing is lined with lead foil to shield it and the built-in tape measure is mounted to that lead foil so when removing the collimator housing you don't want to tear the red lead foil or knock your tape measure out of place. Once you've got these all loose, remove the housing you turn it up towards the buttons and it removes. You can see the lead foil in there and the tape measure in the corner. If you disrupt the tape measure, the foil gets torn. You can see the foil up there. And I know from personal experience, once the lead's been disrupted, you won't pass your state inspection because you'll have too much radiation coming back towards you. So you have to be careful not to disrupt this when taking it on or off. Once you've got that removed, you get access to the heat sink, which is right here, and the bulb is underneath that heat sink. So there's two screws on the heat sink that need to be loosened. And once you remove the heat sink, there's the bulb. When handling the bulb, it's a good idea to wear rubber gloves. You don't want to get the oils from your hands on the bulb. The bulb just wiggles loose. It's got two wire connectors that hold it in place. Once you wiggle it loose, you get your replacement bulb and just wiggle it back into place. That's all there is to, to placing the bulb. Once you've replaced it, you do want to test it before you put everything back together. There you can see it is working. Timer will turn it out after 30 seconds. And then you're ready to reassemble and go back to work.